Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Roblox got banned in Turkey. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Roblox got banned in Turkey. Rip. Jokes aside, this is a serious problem for Roblox because apparently Turkey has over 84 million people living in Turkey, right? And apparently it is the fifth biggest country playing Roblox. Massive problem for Roblox, okay? So it's a serious issue. So jokes aside, let's get serious. Okay. Ah, this is me from the future. This is me from the editing room. This just in. Roblox officially responds by saying, We are aware that Roblox is currently unavailable in Turkey and we have contacted the relevant authorities to find out why and to make sure we are back online as soon as possible. Now that does not necessarily mean that Roblox is going to succeed with getting Roblox unbanned in Turkey. Because there's many reasons to why Roblox has gotten banned in Turkey. There's four reasons actually, and I'm gonna go through the reasons, so it's gonna be a tough one, but hopefully they can uh, get it solved. So you've probably already seen or heard about the news that Roblox has recently just got blocked in Turkey, right? And I remember Creecraft making a video and he said, Flashback. You know, I've been doing some thinking online trying to find an actual reason as to why the Turkey government banned Roblox today other than just, you know, content moderation or whatever. And it looks like nothing has been disclosed yet. I did find this tweet here by Galaxy Ghost, though. She's a Turkish Roblox player. And she says, let me give you a context as a Turkish. So they banned PayPal here a few years ago. They banned Wattpad. How much banned Wattpad? That sounds kind of random, right? They banned Instagram, which they did, did on the second, right? Like the article said. And now Roblox is gone. And from what I can tell from reading all these articles, reading all these tweets here, this seems like a situation of the government overreaching. End of flashback. Something like, I don't know what the reason is. Why are they banning Roblox in Turkey? Can someone explain? And here I am here to explain to you why it got banned. And it's for many reasons, actually. And then we also going to hopefully find a solution to those of you living in Turkey who are like, you know what, F you government, I'm old enough to make my own decisions what I do on the internet. So we, we're gonna find a VPN that works, hopefully, because a lot of VPNs are blocked in Turkey. Now it started off a couple of days ago when they banned Instagram, okay? They went on a massive banning streak in Turkey, okay? Okay. And it turns out it make it kind of makes sense if you ask me because uh, like that whole that Hamas leader he got killed by Israel and uh, apparently in Turkey you know they sympathized with Gaza and Palestine which makes sense and then uh, people were uh, or Instagram was blocking pretty much the platform Instagram was blocking posts that were showing like uh, condolences to uh, the former Hamas leader. And then uh, the leader of Turkey, Erdogan or whatever his name is, was like, F you Instagram, we gonna block your whole platform. What? Yee! Yeah. <laughs> so, it makes sense. Like, bro, that was a power move from Turkey. It's like, oh, are you gonna block us from posting condolences? We gonna block your whole app. We gonna block your whole poopy app. But then all of a sudden, Roblox is getting banned, right? And I saw this article here. Four reasons why Turkey banned Roblox. And I don't think I can show you the whole article, but let me try and read it out to you without showing some of the words. Because I think showing the words... Okay, so basically, uh, there's four reasons. Turkey's Roblox ban was primarily driven by reports of sexual content on Roblox that allegedly exploits children. Authorities express serious concerns about the presence of such material leading to a decisive move to block the platform. And then they also mentioned something, uh, incentives for children through virtual currency. The officials also highlighted issues with Roblox, Roblox virtual currency. Reports indicated that bot accounts were distributing Roblox to incentivize children's participation in aforementioned problematic activities. Also, excess amounts of gambling could be found on the platform. Uh, pet simulator? This added to rationale for Turkey's Roblox ban reflecting concerns about the misuse of virtual incentives. Now the final part right here challenges in content oversight. The inability to effectively monitor and regulate inappropriate content on Roblox was a critical factor in the decision. The directorate noted that the platform's oversight mechanisms were insufficient to address the reported issues 
prompting the Adana Chief Public Prosecutor's Office to impose the access restriction. Now, there's one more thing mentioned that I can't... One more reason to why, and it has something to do with C3PO stuff, okay? Okay. And I also believe it has something to do with this. Happy Pride Month. Uh, Erdogan banned Istanbul Pride Parade, which was the largest in the Middle East. And, uh, you know, in Robux, some of the games, they have Pride Month events. Okay. As you can see, this is not going to be easy for Roblox to get on banned. But maybe they can be like, hey, Turkey, you know, maybe we ban Adopt Me. Maybe we block Adopt Me during Pride Month. Maybe, etc. Now, I was reading through the comments and I saw uh, they banned most major VPNs and they are pushing out news saying they are viruses and track all your posts and files. Uh, this makes it all weird. This makes it all more weird by them doubling down and saying VPNs are viruses. What is their main goal? What's that's worth all of this? VPNs work, but they impose fine IG. Yeah, but they ban some VPNs too. Yeah, I use 1111. It works like a charm. I do have WAP Plus. Is he from Turkey? He must be from Turkey. So he's talking about this right here. One... 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1. you, you can try and type this in four times one two three four so with letters not numbers the free app that makes your internet safer it says free can you believe that now available for even more devices app store google play mac os windows linux and they also have a paid version but apparently there's like a free version too you get more benefits with the pay to win stuff fast free private your internet service provider can see every site and app you use even if they're encrypted some providers even sell this data or use it to target you with ads 1111 with WAP prevents anyone from snooping on you by encrypting more of the traffic leaving your device we believe privacy is a right we won't sell your data ever don't we and if this turns out to be working for you next time you'll be buying bobox in turkey if this works for you star code ram thank you and if the 1111 doesn't work for you, some people here on Reddit says, uh, what was it? Uh, Pure VPN works pretty right now. But that was eight months ago. I believe Pure VPN is pay to win. You know, you can Google your way. You know, you can just Google your way. I'm not here. You, Google is your friend. How to unblock Roblox in Turkey. Or it'd be like, uh, what VPNs work in Turkey today? You know, use your brain. Also, make sure to ask your mom first before you buy Robux. Look at this. Mom found out her son spent hundreds of dollars on Roblox. Hundreds of dollars. Her kid was just randomly buying tons of... Probably from Pet Simulator. That's crazy. But okay, so if you do get permission to buy Robux from your mom. Starcode Ram. Okay. Yeet. Thank you.